Hello, hello and welcome. Silray is here with Dragon Age Inquisition PC Controls Guide for mouse and keyboard. So if you're playing this on a console with a controller, then this video probably has nothing for you. But if you're playing this on PC, especially if you tried it with mouse and keyboard and moved over to the controller, stick around, you might learn a few things. With that said though, I have to say that the amount of hand-holding players seem to need these days is starting to border on the absurd. If tutorial or tooltips don't tell you that something can be done, then obviously it cannot be done. While we could always argue that developers can make better tutorials, that doesn't mean you cannot use your own brains, right? So let's get to the business, huh? Okay, so firstly, Turn to face the target. People are complaining that you do not turn to face the target you are attacking. And this is entirely false. As you can see, I have a target there in the distance. I turn my character around and then I turn to face the target when attacking. You hold left mouse button. If you simply click it once, then you do not turn. If you spam click it like that, then you don't turn. However, if you hold it just briefly, just for the duration of a single attack, you'll turn to face the target. I'll show the combat segment here, the, uh, how this works as well. By swapping targets, cycling through the targets with the keybind, and then you turn to face them. And as you can see, they're also closing in on them. Cycle through targets, and you turn instantly to face them as soon as you hold left mouse button. Right? It's not that complex. Okay, to business then. That is camera control and all the other things. Right, so normally you have keys for turning the camera, but you can do it by holding the right, right mouse button and turning the camera. And when you do this, when you hold the right mouse button, the keyboard binds for turning the camera actually turn into move left and right instead. And with this combination, you never need the keys to actually move left and right. Then of course, there is the other camera mode, the tactical camera. It automatically pauses the game, but you can turn the pause off and play the game in tactical camera. And you can right click on the ground, right? And then you can use right mouse button, or rather hold the right mouse button, and you can turn the camera whichever way you want to go. You can go all over the place, you can move the keybinds, you can move the camera, use right mouse button to look around and click on the ground to move wherever you want to go. Hopefully that clears up a lot of the controls for this particular game. The only complaint that I have for the controls of this particular game is that in tactical camera you cannot use the search function. The search ping does not activate in tactical camera. For example, there is an elf root here, right? But I cannot see it with the search ping. I have to go away from tactical camera, then search ping to find it. The problem with that is though, because people keep saying that you cannot right click move to an object. And you can, but you have to do it in tactical camera. In here, I can right click this, but nothing happens. If I go into tactical camera, turn the pause function off and right click and I will go and collect that. But in tactical camera you cannot use the search ping. So yeah, you will have to move between those two consistently if you want to keep using this method of right click to where you want to go. Otherwise you will have to use keyboard to move well and using right mouse button to turn the camera around to see around. Okay, so let's talk about combat next. This is a prologue fight very early in the game. This is the first fight where you can actually use tactical camera, which is why I'm chosen this particular fight. So now if I choose myself a target and I right left click around, nothing happens, right? If I go into tactical camera and there is that nice tutorial for it, move over here and click me a right click me a target what happens is my character is gonna run all over there and start smacking on the target right 
Do you see out auto attack? I am not doing anything with my mouse at the moment and there is an auto attack, right? That's my character beating it down and I can use all sorts of things here. Such as use an ability, do all that stuff and click another target to move on to it and start continuing to auto attack the enemy. So to anyone who is saying that there is, an, is no auto attack in this game, you are absolutely wrong. You simply have to use tactical camera for it. There definitely is an auto attack. You want to play the game as an action game, you use the action camera and there is no auto attack. You have to use your left mouse button. You want to play the combat in a tactical camera and use your auto attack. You can do the combat in two different ways. Exploration, however, as I have mentioned, you must do in this mode because you cannot use the search function in the tactical camera for whatever reason. Let us pick this elf root once more. Hopefully that clears out a lot of the complaints people have had in the, for this game. And it, I find it absolutely absurd because I figured all this out within first half an hour of the play. It's essentially before I was out of the tutorial area, that is this prologue itself. It wasn't that difficult. Now, let me finish this video by giving you two sets of keybinds as well. Because... I want to show how I do stuff, and I want to give another version for anyone who must use WASD. Okay, so let us get to business with the keybinds. So options menu is somewhere you should go every time you play a new game anyway. Most people change audio settings or they change graphic settings, but they never touch the controls and the keybinds menus. And I don't get why. Firstly, in controls you will obviously have camera movement speed and mouse sensitivity, along with other things. And fiddle these to your own enjoyment. What do you prefer? And you should do that. Keybinds you should always also come to, because there might not be a tooltip or even a tutorial to use a certain key. And so you scroll through the keys to see what keys the game actually uses. These are not default. However, this first set of keybinds is for all of you out there who are so stuck to WASD that you cannot use anything else. There must be WASD. So, I made this for all of you folks, but before I start going through this list, let me just say that there are a couple words like this you are gonna see, I'm going to explain them to you, because the game obviously uses my Finnish keyboard settings, so yeah, I'll clarify those out in proper English for you. WASD, as I explained in the camera section of this polygon video, you do not need move left and right, you just hold right mouse button and these turn become the move left and move right keys. So those have been unbound entirely. Toggle auto run has been moved to B. You do not need this in combat, so it doesn't have to be anywhere quite so close. Sprint in shift still, and jump in spacebar, right? Those are defaults. Interact has been moved to G. That's where auto run typically is, I moved it down one key. However, I chose to leave this on keyboard for all of you who prefer to have it on the keyboard for some reason. I just use right mouse button, much easier. Anyway, search has been moved to Q. As I explained, you don't need the move keys there, so search is now in a very easily reachable position. Cycle targets is still in tabulator because it's kind of easy and, you know, most games do leave a targeting there on the tabulator anyways. Basic attack has been rebound entirely away, because you don't need it. You just right click if you are in tactical camera, you left click if you are not in tactical camera. Just really simple stuff. Pause is in control, that's default. Tactical camera key is in F. That way you can, you know, quickly swap between tactical camera and the action camera, because it's in a key which is very easily reachable. WASD has been moved around here and as I explained in the camera section, you do not need these. You just hold right mouse button and you can turn the camera in the tactical. So yeah, pan tactical camera for the same reason is entirely gone. You don't need that. You just freaking use this. You know, 
keys to move the camera around and then you hold right mouse button to pan it all the way into whatever position you want it to. All the companion commands have been moved below the movement keys. Attack my target, hold position, clear commands and disengage. Easily reachable positions and makes it easier for you to do stuff with your companions. Ability slots are the same until we get to these. Quick heal, potion slot 1 and potion slot 2. Very easily quickly reachable positions with ERT. And then dismount. Well, that has been moved. Quest map and all these things have been moved closer as you can see. No longer do you have to reach for the P key to go to your character record screen. Shit. Why would you do that when you can bind it to you and have it like closer by? Inventory is not in I, it's in Y and suddenly it's much closer. Uh, I don't get why they default them into very random places. Select party members have been, uh, well, left the same, except I moved quick load to F6, so it's easily reachable. Scorecard for multiplayer has been moved to Z, you can keep that in other places if you prefer, and menu navigations are the same. So, if you are using WASD and you want to stick to those, then copy this setup and learn how to use your right mouse button to look around you. And suddenly you will find this game so much more easy and enjoyable to play because, well, firstly it's gonna take you uh, half an hour to get used to having your keys, not in very random places, but easily reachable places. Now let me show you how I do stuff. Hooky, let us talk the way I do things for these games. So suddenly you'll see a big change of things with the movement keys already. TFGH, right in smack middle of the keyboard. Move left, move right have been done away with, as I've explained before. Why would I put movement keys here? Because WSD does not give me enough room. You will see soon very, very quickly. Autoron at V, right below the movement keys. Sprint in Alt, easily reachable with the, you know, little finger. Jump in Spacebar still. Interact has been moved to M. I have chosen to keep it on the keyboard just because I have the key space for it, but also because of other reasons. Frankly, I still pretty much use right mouse button for all of it. Search in C, very easable, easily spammable key position. Cycle targets in N, another very easily spammable key position. Basically that's been done away with because I don't need it, I need, just need left or right mouse button. Pause and unpause and tactical camera are in very strange keys, that's because I'm using mouse software to allow me to bind them into these locations. Most Good gaming mice come with a software which allows you do, to do this sort of stuff and you should take advantage of it. And if uh, you are not using one of these then get rid of the interact key and such to put those in, these, in their places instead. Tactical camera as I have explained before turn left and right have been done with, away with, movement keys are the same though. Pan tactical camera not bound anywhere. And companion commands are very close by. As you can see, they are right next to the movement keys, every single one of them. Ability slots also right next to the movement keys. The first five and then the last three are in the number keys, essentially right above the previous ones. The game locks you in an animation after all, when you use a key you don't need to have rapidly spammable ones most of the time. But I prefer having easy access to all of them. Healing potions have been moved on the number keys as well with 5, 4 and 3. Easy peasy with the ring finger of the keyboard hand or well right forefinger if you happen to be left handed and use left handed mouse. Mount and dismount, also easily reachable position, and I put all these somewhere where I don't actually need a really fast access to them because frankly I don't use the, any of these during the combat. Quest map, journal, inventory, and character record. If you take a look at your keyboard, you'll see 
but they are still pretty close by. And all of these are the same. And quick load move to f6 because why would it be in f9 anyway? Scorecard kept in tabulator for this instead of, you know, because I'm using another key to swap between targets, I'm making use of tabulator for at least something. And menu navigations on the movement keys. With that said, thank you very much for watching, hopefully you learned something, and if you can wrap your mind away from WASD, I suggest giving this TFGH a try with pretty much any game you happen to play, because you can suddenly bind everything right next to your movement keys and have easy access to all the damn buttons you would ever need. As said, thank you very very much for watching.